Mac puts a lot of great stuff in the cabin chassis on these trucks, but we want to make sure that we go that extra step further. How so? Stay tuned, let's find out. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back in this week. I am Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. Really glad you came back along. Right now we're covering the cab and chassis and we're not even gonna go inside yet. We're gonna cover that later. That being said, the corners of the cab always receive a ton of abuse. So they've got rubber guards on them to make sure that they stay protected. Down below that, speaking of protected, we've got a solid steel bumper here. More protection for the headlights. We've got aluminum guards out front here to make sure that nothing goes through those. Those are LED headlights to make sure that you get as much light as you can down the road without any putting any undue load on the electrical system there. We've also got guides for when the can comes over the front. These guides are gonna keep everything from shifting back and forth. They're tapered here. These are gonna last a long time, especially with the plastic on the outside. That way they're not gonna wear out for you. On top of that, just in case things go a little bit sideways, not that they ever have, we've got a tow hook here. That can help get you out of trouble. That is all tied in to a double frame that runs the full length of the truck because this is a refuse truck. We know the kind of abuse it's gonna face. One of the other things that's happened with these trucks is they now have an additional four inches of depth to the cab so that way you've got more leg room, whether you're sitting down or standing up. Now, when it comes to the cab, especially on this side, these are breakaway mirrors. This easily folds forward, so that way you can open up the door on this stand-up cab. We're gonna cover some more of this door and how this works a little bit later. This wire here lets you know you've got heated mirrors because what use are mirrors if they're all iced up? As we move back here, We've got fender flares. That's gonna keep all the junk from the road, the ditches, whatever. That's gonna keep that from shooting up on the truck, keep everything a little bit cleaner. So when we come to the back of the cab here, we've got this nice rubber gasket setup, which helps make sure that you're not flinging stuff off the front tire up in between this area. It's gonna help keep things a lot cleaner. This fender wraps all the way back down there as part of that fender flare. We've got our latch here, so that way when you swing the door open, it can stay open. Then we've got the jack for the cab. The cool thing about it is we'll cover this with the body. That cab deflector is air operated. Flip the lever, that thing will open right up for you. We also, we usually mark our air cleaners so that way you know when you need to do that first service, whether it's 15,000 miles or 450 hours. It's one of those things you should always check. We make sure we put the reminder there for you. There's also your gauge there on top of that. Just behind the fender that I was talking about, we've got our def tank here. Then we've got an 80 gallon fuel tank. These are aluminum that's gonna help save you some weight. That way, once again, you can stick more in the back there. On top of that, we've got a very large air tank because we know how quickly you're gonna cycle through that. One of the other things that's often overlooked, but I like to talk about is the glass in these trucks. First off, there's a huge amount of glass in these trucks. Probably the same amount as in an AMC Pacer. These panes of glass are flat, which gives you not only ease of replacement if one of them happens to break, but it eliminates distortion. Flat panes of glass don't really distort, so the driver is actually seeing what's going on instead of some weird distortion with it. Now, we've also got nice pieces of glass in the, in the door here, so that way the driver can see out. The top window is a power window. We've also got these blind spot windows here too. If you've got the same door on the other side as a sit down model, you're gonna have the same window there. On top of that, just for that added visibility, there's corner windows in the back here. Now they are curved and like I said, you will get a little bit of distortion, but you're just trying to see if there's something there. Makes all the difference in the world. So if you've got a question or just other comment, put that in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. On top of that, if you like this, give us the thumbs up, hit the subscription button there, make sure you get the notifications bell so that way you know the next video that's coming out. Next week, we are diving into the interior. Me being a button pusher, there's a lot to talk about.